Hello folks. It's been some time since I've been in New York State. Last time I was in this state, the leaves were green. Leaves weren't falling down behind me. The weather was really warm. So many things have changed. Last time I was in New York, I was in upstate New York. As of right now, I'm no longer in upstate New York, but I'm in the New York City area. Where I'm walking is just the middle of the woods. There's actually a lake nearby, I'll show you in a bit, but right now I wanna explain something. About a month to several weeks ago, or however long that was, I took a trip to the southernmost point in New Jersey, and that was a really fun idea. Today, I'm exploring the southernmost point of New York State. So right now, I'm technically in the New York City metropolitan area. I'm actually in the incorporated city of New York. But here at the Coverage Project, we don't aim for the basic of goals. I aim to explore the little borough in Staten Island called Tottenville. It's the southernmost point of Staten Island, also the southernmost point of New York City. It's the southernmost point of New York State altogether. Through this video, we'll be exploring the various places that Tottenville has to offer, and uh, let's do it. So here's part of the Long Pond area. There's a whole park. And usually in the summertime or the spring where the leaves are green and lush, this pond doesn't look as brown and icky as it does right now in November. Huh, would you look at that? I guess when the pond freezes over in the winter, that's what these ladders here are for, I guess to prevent people from falling in and drowning. So as you can see, this is the downtown part of Tottenville. This is where the Tottenville local families have their businesses. Lots of traffic, lots of noise here in Tottenville, New York. What can easily be noticed here is that there's a big Italian community. Lots of Italian names on the street signs, lots of Italian owned restaurants. Another thing I notice is that this place is densely packed. Many, many people on small, small streets. Interestingly enough, there's a railroad that goes right in the middle of the neighborhood. There's houses and cars and buildings on the other side, but in order to pass this railroad, I have to make a huge detour around. Hey, but that's the spirit of adventure. So this is the bridge that's gonna take me across the railroad. Let's check it out. My oh my, this is a grand way to get over a simple railroad. right here. But this is Staten Island. This is so cool. I can look out the window and see the railroad. Pretty windy up here, I didn't expect it to be that way. And you can see the little river separating Staten Island, part of New York, to New Jersey. I'm on the other side of the railroad and I see something interesting. A local marketplace. We might want to check that out.
All right, we are back at that weird train station. And what a cultural experience that marketplace was. You know, I just wanna, you know, just regularly support local businesses. And I thought, hey, I'm in Tottenville, Staten Island. Might as well go to one of those local shops. I did not expect to have such a culture shock. That was so cool. You saw all these Italian food stations and aisles full of pasta. Just incredible to see. So of course, to celebrate the occasion, I bought myself some stuff from that Italian marketplace. You know, you have your Italian chocolates like these. Apricot peach juice. Albicoccia, succo e polpa. I don't know Italian at all. So I'll have to assume from the pictures it's some apricot or peach, something along those lines. Anyway, now that we've explored much of the neighborhood of Tottenville, it's time to do what we were intending to do from the beginning. Go to the southernmost point of New York. Let's get this done. This building behind me, known as the Conference House, has stood at the tip of Staten Island since the late 1600s. And on the other side of this little river, this is New Jersey. Oh my goodness, there is a giant liner over there we came here at just the perfect time now i'm not i'm not from here i don't know how often these liners come through this bay area but that's just incredible a giant liner right there i don't know is this a good time for a thumbnail you know a giant cruise ship behind me not a cruise ship but a giant ship. Let's just call it a ship right behind me. I really don't know the chances of seeing that. So now that the ship's sort of sailing away, let me just introduce you to the other smaller buildings that you can see on this side of the river. Of course, that's New Jersey. Currently sitting down at some stone thing. But just because we're at the shore doesn't mean we're at the southernmost shore. Still got a ways to go. Now it's just a matter of walking this way to the southernmost point of New York. Dead fish, huh? Another dead fish. I wish you could smell what I'm smelling. It's just all salty and, well, obviously it's coming from the salt water but there's this salt scent all over the place. Yo, what's up? Are you kidding me? You're swimming away? We have reached the southernmost point in New York State. We've done it. It's always a windy day if you're by the beach. Other than reaching the southernmost point of New York, there's really not much to do on this grimy, dirty beach. I mean, I see a, a tire over there. There's really not much, just a salty beach. I've seen a lot of dead fish corpses and seagulls who eat and pick up and devour the fish. Well, I guess that ends my adventure here in Tottenville, New York. A lovely place here in Staten Island. I'm here with the weeds because it's a little bit less windy. Not by much, but it's the best I can do. Well, here we go. More travels to come. I will see you all at the next location.